But sometimes, sometimes you and I pick up habits, you and I do things in our lives, also requires reform. In other words, the biography of the messenger of God is not the only area that sometimes we need to re-examine. Yes, sometimes we need to re-look at many aspects in our lives. Sometimes we pick up habits throughout our lives. A few nights ago, I mentioned the subject of eating food from Hindus. A number of people came to me and said, there is a problem here. I said, what is it? That some struggle to accept this. Let me elaborate a little bit more about what I mentioned. The recognition that emerges in the religion of Islam, there is a principle. The principle is everything is tahir unless you know for sure that it is najis. Everything. Number one. Number two, if somebody today, for example, saw something that is najis, it is not obligatory for them to tell others that it is najis. The human being, the believer, themselves must come to a certainty either by seeing it with their eyes or being told by a reliable individual about something which is najis. The recognition that emerges today is, what we mentioned is, if you're given food from somebody who is not from Ahl al-Kitab, and the food is vegetarian to start off with, so if it's meat, you have to establish whether it's halal or not, and that has its own separate discussion. If it is vegetarian, let us imagine, sometimes we have to simplify, a vegetable samosa, yes? You're given this by somebody who is your neighbor, who is what? From the Hindu faith. What the Sharia of the religion of Islam tells you is, number one, you don't need to ask their religion. Number two, you don't need to ask how they prepared it. Number three, if you have not seen them use their own wet hands in preparation, then you can assume tahara because everything is pure unless you know for sure it is najis. Now, some people said to me, but isn't it better to avoid this? Isn't it better just to kind of not eat? I say to them, my dear sisters and brother, you are more than welcome to practice ihtiyat and not to eat. There is a difference between that which you prefer and that which is Islamic law. You could choose whatever you wish. You could say, I don't want to eat it. But when it comes to what is right and wrong and as far as halal and haram is concerned, we have to clarify the rulings. If sometimes we have an idea in our minds, we need to... Because sometimes you and I become the halal haram police. Have you heard this? Term? We make it our own objective in life to keep telling people halal haram. Don't do this. Do you think this existed now with Facebook and Instagram? No, 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 no. This was at the time of the messengers and the imams. Because we have a sahih hadith. Hadith that is established in, in kafi. That was what highlighted to me by one of my colleagues and scholars today. I was having a conversation with him. He said, this hadith is sahih. The chain of narration is established. What is this hadith? This is from the Holy Six Imam. Ja'far ibn Muhammad al-Sadiq salawatullahi wa salamu alayhi. He says, my father, the fifth holy Imam, peace be upon him, went to do ghusl. Please listen to this hadith. He went to do ghusl in a public bath. You know, back in the time, they used to have areas where they do ghusl. Yes? The hadith says in Al-Kafi, he was doing ghusl from Janaba. When he finished ghusl, he left. The moment he left, he saw one of those haram halal police people who said to him, Ya ibn Rasulillah, you've missed the part in your back. It's dry. You've missed it. The Imam alayhi salam looks at him and says, Ma kana alayka law sakat. If you had kept quiet, it's better. You don't need to tell me this. Yes? What is Imam alayhi salam trying to tell you and I and all of humanity? At the end of the day, this particular part, if you think it's missed, it's not your problem to highlight. Yes? And Imam alayhi salam immediately takes some water and covers it. Yes, just in case it's missed. But he's highlighting to you and I, there are people I have heard who've come one day, they say, Mawlana, M&M's haram, Coca-Cola haram, this Snickers haram. Subhanallah, they have a problem with chocolates. Every day something haram. Ya akhi, you have qualification to bring these deductions. You have studied, you have become a mujtahid. Every day we receive a message. Mawlana, this thing, that thing, haram. Somebody said, somebody said. Once again, take a step back, understand there is a role for our ulama, isn't it? That's